hello friends welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 22 in our training series today we are going to see how we can create the virtual machines using zenap and zen desktop wizard so this is citrix virtual desktop setup wizard so let me discuss first what is the difference between streamed vm setup wizard and <coughs> citrix virtual desktop wizard so in streamed with uh, streams vm setup wizards you will create the virtual machines first inside the pvs server then you guys need to add these virtual mach machines inside the your delivery controller use and you guys need to create the machine catalog and delivery group but in citrix virtual desktop setup wizards you can do all these things in one go means you can create all those machines and you guys can create machine catalog delivery group everything from here so how we can do that let's go inside this server so first of all i am going to create a new collection device which is dr so we are going to create dr servers or you guys can say that test servers let me slash test so i am going to use this uh, device collection and we are going to create virtual machines here now how we can do that just click on this site and go on citrix virtual desktop setup wizard click on this click on next now it's asking what is your delivery controller address so you guys need to give the delivery controller address let me go in properties and just copy this and click on pencil and just paste it here click on next so it this will resolve your uh, delivery controller now it is checking what is the virtual desktop host resource present so it means what is the network id created here so by default i have given this name let me show you go to the hosting and the name is for the networking is LAN you guys can see here the same it automatically detected here click on next <coughs> now it's asking uh, how I can connect this host host means your uh, hosting layer so as in hosting layer I am using VMware so I need to give the VM vCenter username and password where i have the administrator rights to create the virtual machine so click on ok so now it's loading the templates from the hosting layer so how many templates present in this hosting layer hosting means in your inside your vcenter so this is one template i have created previously you guys can see my previous videos i have created this template so click on next now it's asking uh, what is the virtual disk you want to use so uh, in my environment i have created only one virtual disk you guys can see that v disk so i have one v disk here so i'm going to use this for the same zenap and zen desktop wizard as well click on next now it's asking what is the machine catalog name you want to give inside your delivery controller so if you have an existing delivery controller you guys you guys can use this otherwise i am going to create a new machine catalog name so let me give, give this machine catalog hyphen win 2 k 12 hyphen xaxt for the naming convention convention i am using this hyphen pvs hyphen test so we are go, uh, going to create a test catalog so test or in um, production in big companies you can say that dr or test so depending upon the companies they will use this naming convention click on next now it's asking you are going to create the desktop os or the server os if we are going to create windows 10 machines then obviously you guys you still need to select desktop os but i am using multi-session os so that's why i am using the server os so depending upon your v disk you guys need to select this if you have the v disk for windows 10 then you guys need to select desktop os otherwise you guys need to select server os click on next 
now it's asking how many virtual machines you want to create let me go in i want to create three virtual machines how many virtual cpus you want to give these machines so i'm saying that one virtual machine is enough for me so now it's asking the boot method if you have the bdm iso or pxc boot pxc boot so right now we are creating for the pxc boot later on i will show that how to create bdm iso so what is bdm iso you guys need to create a iso and that will automatically mount inside the vm so let's say you have the scenario that uh, the uh, wdm windows deployment services is running inside your environment in same sub same subnet so whenever a machine will boot how he can identify that you guys need this machine needs to be booted from the pvs or from the w wds windows deployment services so both have the same type of functionalities later on i will show in details how what is the difference between these but oh as an overall you guys can uh, think that you have the wds and pvs on the same server vms will boot automatically uh, from the pxc in wds and inside pvs also so how uh, to differentiate that either you guys need to create a, another subnet for the pvs and wds otherwise inside pvs you guys can create a bdm iso and uh, inside bdm iso you have the you would need to capture all the information that this is my pvs server uh, whenever the machine will boot it will automatically pick the bdm iso and then vms will boot so later on we will uh, create i will create a video on that also so as of now i am selecting this pxc boot click on next here you guys need to enter the active directory uh, accounts so i am going to create new accounts for this machine now it's asking where you want to create these machines so i need i uh, need to select the oeo which is inside active directory so inside citrix vda and you guys need to select this so this is server vda for pvs so i am selecting this now you guys need to give the naming convention of the pvs machine so i am going to ctx pvs svr dr or hash hash so it will create dr010203 so depending upon the machines how you have created five machine then it will go dr102345 something like that click on next here and now it needs it uh, start the creating uh, virtual machines so click on finish and now it will start creating machines so let me you guys can see that this is the progress and it start creating three virtual machines so let me show inside my vcenter and let me show in vcenter and you guys can see that dr01 zero two and zero three so machines start preparing that there are three machines has been created inside this collection device and thus i think there is same the machine catalog is also created inside my delivery controller so let uh, let's think that it is created or not and let me search that and you guys can see that the same name uh, in the machine uh, collection device and the same name in machine catalog has been created and there is three virtual mach machines inside this machine catalog so this is the basic difference between streamed wizard and uh, the wizard which we are using for zen app and zen desktop using pvs so it inside this you guys can you guys seen that there is machine catalog automatically created inside your delivery controller so in one go you guys can do that now uh, the next thing you guys need to create a delivery group and you guys need to assign that but the benefit is that you are first of all you guys will create the machine inside pvs then you guys need to add this inside this delivery controller but in inside pvs in one go you guys can do this work so this is the end of this video guys if you guys think that videos are informative just like these videos subscribe my channel and leave the comments thank you thank you guys